Hello YouTube, welcome back to Healing From Toxic. This video is specially made for those of you who are struggling with keeping no contact. The reason why I decided to do this video is because I've been talking to a survivor. Hi P, I'm not gonna say your name because I don't wanna put your name out there. I don't wanna put your business out there. Um, but this particular guy is struggling with keeping no contact, he really, really cannot stay away from his ex. And I know that he's not the only one. There are survivors out there who really struggle with this. And I know that every single narc abuse uh, coach or what do they call those people now? Uh, experts. <laughs> They're always telling you, go no contact, go no contact, that is the key. And that is indeed the key, okay? In order for you to recover, you have to go no contact. But it's not easy for everybody. Everyone is not like me or other survivors who get so angry, who get so fed up, and they can never look back because their anger will not allow it, okay? There are some survivors like P who really struggle with this. So I'm going to give you guys some tips towards the end of the video. But before I go there, I wanna talk about this a little bit more. I want to open up the layers of this onion, uh, for lack of a better term, word, analogy. Why is it that you keep going back? Aside from the love, because we know there's love there, even though they manipulate it, you to love them, you love this person and your feelings are legit. You really love this person and love is really difficult to fight. One of the hardest things that a person will ever have to do is to pull themselves back from a person that they truly love. If it's easy to pull back, then I can go ahead and say that you may not really love this person and you were not really in love with this person. Unless, like I said, if they really, really hurt you and they pushed you to that point. But if you really love somebody, it's going to be extremely hard for you to pull yourself back. So I am not going to tell you that this should be easy. You, I don't understand why you can't do it, but I'm not gonna do that, okay? Because I know that it's hard. If you really love a person, it's very hard to keep no contact it's very difficult to do that when the love is so strong when the attachment is so strong so i want to go ahead and talk about this and the first question that you need to ask yourself if you're struggling to keep no contact is where did you learn that this is love where did you learn that it's okay to continue to go back to a person who has hurt you so deeply? More importantly, why do I keep this cycle of, why do I keep going back to a person who has destroyed me, who treats me like doo-doo? Why do I keep doing that to myself? You need to ask yourself, those questions because those are very important questions that's the core of the problem when are you going to stop that pattern did you learn that from your parents where did you learn that this is okay where did you learn that that is love because it's not if you cannot answer those questions you may need help you may need to go to a therapist a therapist may be able to help you with that but i'm telling you there's got to be a wounded boy a wounded girl within you that believes that that is okay that believes somewhere within your mind that is okay for a person that you love to treat you in this manner okay somewhere along in your life in your childhood you were taught that you can be hurt so deeply and, and there's still love there. And you need to work at unlearning that, okay? So that's the first thing that I wanted to mention. Another thing that is very important for you to understand when dealing with a narcissist is that every time that you go back to a narcissist, they're not thinking 
that wow this person really loves me i have to really take care of this love i have to really value this person because they love me so much no matter what i do they come back to me they don't care okay every time that you go back to a narcissist they feel that you are weak they feel that you deserve to be treated like doo-doo and they feel that they have control over you that they have power over you because of your codependent ways they feel that you need them you're showing them that you need them so they are going to continue to treat you badly because you are encouraging that behavior so you have to acknowledge your own toxic pattern because you're going to continue that toxicity and it's never going to stop a narcissist is never going to look at you going back to them as something that is good okay they're not going to value you for that keep in mind that a healthy person even if they're no longer in love with you okay a healthy human being is not going to want an ex to keep going back to them back and forth if they know that i cannot give them what they deserve a healthy ex is going to tell you i know that you're still in love with me but i cannot love you the way that you deserve i'm not in love with you and i don't want to keep seeing you hurting so please don't contact me a healthy human being is going to do that out of care for you because they're not going to want to see you hurting a narcissist is not going to do that why because they want you to come back they want you to come back so they can pick you up and drop you they want you to come back so they can feel good because you're feeding their ego okay so keep that in mind every single time that you go back to a narcissist you are showing them that they are in control okay until you heal your inner child you're going to go back until you answer those questions you're going to go back now i'm going to tell you a few tips that helped me so hopefully these tips will help you as well number one anytime that you want to call your ex text your ex unblock your ex reach out to your ex in any way because you feel like you need to express your love or how much you miss them instead of doing that get a journal start writing start writing your feelings even if that means that you're missing them write it down okay if you do music write a song find creative ways in which you can express what you're going through there's so many creative outlets where you can express your feelings because i know that holding it all in can damage you holding all of your feelings in it's not healthy you have to let them out okay so that's the number one tip have a creative outlet in which you can express yourself and not hurt yourself okay so that was number one number two surround yourself with positive people if you don't have positive friends if you don't have positive family members then go find a community go on instagram go on youtube go on quora but find your tribe where you can find friends support that's what matters if you have absolutely no support this is going to be very very difficult because like a lot of survivors you isolate your isolate you isolate yourself and then you don't have other people to you know talk to to communicate with and who else is going to pop up in your mind the ex narc because you've isolated yourself from other people and once you're missing your ex you want to go run to them so it's very important to have a positive circle around you so that instead of you going to your narc ex you can go talk to your friends go talk to family members and like i said if you don't have that create that i went to quora i went to quora and i found a lot of supportive people there instagram as well the third tip is to stay active stay active go run go walk go um join a boxing class a dancing class whatever anything that keeps your body going and that keeps your body moving 
helps a lot. I used to walk all the time. I still do. Not as often as I did before because after this split, like I said in one of my videos, I was so angry. I just needed to let my anger out and walking was a big one for me. I used to walk every single day, sometimes twice a day. So stay active, have a supportive circle around you, find support and find a creative outlet. I'm also going to say, if you're struggling a lot and these things don't help you and you just feel like you have to go back to your narcx, please seek therapy. Seek therapy because a therapist is going to help you find those answers to those questions that I first mentioned at the beginning of the video. And sometimes we don't, we cannot answer those questions by ourselves. Sometimes we need a therapist, a professional, a psychologist, okay, who can help us understand why we keep going on that same destructive and toxic cycle. Sometimes we need help to try to figure out why, why do we keep doing this? What do I keep, you know, going to toxic people? Why do I keep having these toxic relationships? Why? And there's an answer. There's an answer. You just, if you cannot figure it out on your own and you're struggling, you may need help. Okay. So I suggest that you may find therapy. You know, if you can afford it, go for it. It, help, it has helped me plenty. It's okay to let other people in. It's okay to get help if you need it. Okay. So sometimes we need it. I know I used to be like, I got it. I got it. I don't need a therapist. I don't need help. I don't need pills. I don't need therapy. I don't need, because I felt like I was superwoman. Until I got to a point where it was like, I need my meds. I need therapy, okay? So don't get to that point where you're about to explode before you get help. It's okay to get help, okay? So that was my video for today. Happy Veterans Day to you all. I love you all. Take care. Bye-bye.